But folks, let me tell you something. This is this this is funny, right? Now. I remember this story. Mm-hmm. Speaking of his sobriety, so Steve-O, you can read up anything on him, and you'll see that one of the, one of the biggest things that he's proud of is his sobriety that he got sober. So back in, I guess it was 2015, maybe. Mm. I think it was 2015. We actually had Steve-O come down to the studio to promote his show in Austin. Yeah. He did it at the Paramount here. And he came down and hung out. We did, a, we did a show for about an hour and a half where he was just there. So this is, at the time, Danielle. And y'all remember Danielle? <laughs> of course. A whirlwind course. named Danielle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> y'all remember crazy-ass Danielle. <laughs> this, is, this is the time that I realized I got to put a chain on this chick and shut her the <laughs> you know, I got, I got to put, I, I got to, I, I got to control her, cause she's always out of control. But the night that he was coming, so Danielle was kind of, she came in as a marketing person, and she's not that marketing person where, hey, you do this, do that, get all this straight. No, she's like, don't you fuck up, Coleman. You know, you know, don't you, don't you be late, don't you fuck this up, Coleman. So, I mean, <laughs> all night you're like, I don't know what you're gonna do, Coleman, but don't you fuck this up. Don't it's... you do anything to mess this up, Coleman. Be professional, okay? Don't mess this up. This is real shit, Coleman. This is serious. This is big time, Coleman. And I was like, all right, all right, all right, cool, cool, whatever. I, I, like, look, I've been doing this for years. I've been doing this, these interviews way before Danielle Levy came to my life. But I'm like, all right, you're the marketing person here. That's cool. All right, Coleman, I mean it. Don't f*** it up. All right, all right. So the first thing that happens when, when, when Steve-O comes up, she, I didn't even know this, that she had done this. But Steve-O comes up and she meets him outside. She's like, oh my God, thank you, Steve-O. Thanks for coming here. Thanks for doing this interview. And you know what? I take care of my people. I take care of people who do things for us. I got you this weed right here. And Steve-O is like... <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And Steve-O is like, uh, thanks, but you know I'm sober, right? And she's like, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. He's like, you didn't read up on any of this? He's like, oh, I, I, I didn't know. Oh, please, I'm sorry. And Steve-O's like... Yeah, I'm gonna call my manager real quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was about to leave. And Steve O came in, he looked at me and he's like, dude, what are y'all doing? What is this? What kind of thing is this? And I was like, what, what, what? Jeez, oh, I said, you talked to Danielle, didn't you? I didn't even know what the fuck happened. I just said, did you talk to that fucking thick uh, uh, tan chick outside? And he's like, yeah. Danielle? Yeah. I was like, all right. I was like, yeah, man. <laughs> you spoke I, to the whirlwind? Yes. <laughs> I said, yeah. This is the Tasmanian devil got a hold of you. All right. I'm, I'm so sorry, man. Just and, 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 and I just said, listen, I don't know what happened. I don't know what she did. I think he even said something like, she's new here. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> gotta, hit him with, gotta hit him with that. I just, I just met the crazy bitch. I don't know what happened, man. But whatever it is, please understand that it won't happen again. And you talk to me from now on. Don't say a word to anybody else. And we, <laughs> were, we were able to settle it at that moment. We were able to come in. I don't know how I salvaged that. But he was so intense at first, he didn't know what this was. He said, yeah, the first thing this person does, someone who's put out there that I'm sober, this chick offers me weed. I, <laughs> I was like, whoa. Oh. So, yeah. So I was just kind of like, all right, man, I got you. Just talk to me. It's not what you think. We're cool here. And the interview went well. But mm-hmm. I, and I was just like, so don't fuck up, don't, don't fuck up Coleman, right? Huh? Don't don't do anything stupid, huh? I'll put that <laughs> shit on. I said, because I, after you went inside, I went outside and talked to Danielle. I said, the f- did you just do? And she said, oh my God, I just offered weed to a person who just got sober. I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, wow. Well, I'm glad somebody's calm about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's go through those rules again, huh? I said, yeah. <laughs> I said, Danielle, what you do is you either go home or you get in that studio and you shut the f- up and don't say another word and she even she do she was like yeah you're right <laughs> i was like wow the chick who told me for an hour don't this up even though i knew what i was doing <laughs> she it up she completely it up <laughs> i love danielle don't get me wrong danielle i know it but danielle will even tell you that story she even tell you yeah i really that one up didn't I? you know how danielle is <laughs> She the first one to tell you she messed up. Yeah. No, I love Dad, y'all. I do. I do. That's hey. She almost she almost screwed the pooch on that one. I mean bend that over and, and, and rape him. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. It's all good. Time isn't real. So that didn't really happen. That didn't really happen. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. That's so true. Oh my God, time's not real. It's a construct.